So, we're gonna have a really nice battle. Well, quite an open map. And we're gonna have Type 5 in it. You wanna see surprise? Boom! We're playing against Shu79 and Vazir55. Two meta tanks. Plus Sister V, which is quite good for this map. And we have mix 50 p and Type 5 and Grilly. Yeah? Did you see that? We're asking for our team, do not push, okay? They have better tanks and let them come. Some light tanks saying randoms today are pain. And then T55A saying, who plays Type 5 these days? And I said, the dude who marking it without gold. And then he said, it's unbalanced. Yep. I said, it's unbalanced. He said, it's unbalanced. We know that it's unbalanced. And someone said, Rukumus saying, 279 plus Vazir against 50B and Type 5. Hmm. Yes. It's, I understand. I truly understand that. I truly understand that. We lost already one tank, which is sad. Uh, but listen, guys. It's not about the tanks. It's all about how you're going to play the game. It's all about how team going to play the game. We lost already one tank. Yes, true. We got Rui in the bush. Good. We got light tank in the bush. Good. We got map vision. Good. Waffle Traeger saying next loss. Believe. Check on the minimap, guys. Check on the minimap. People not doing pressure. Sniping. Trying to provide some damage. Amix 50B doesn't do pressure. Conquer doesn't do pressure. Ice 3 doesn't do pressure. Boom. Stopping. Stop prior there. What you can do in this situation, guys? What you can do in this situation? Huh? How do you think? Yes. As soon as they got map control, I, I mean, if enemy gonna have a map control, or they definitely gonna have. What you can do? Just go with Type 5 or any other really well armored tank, or well, if you have really good knowledge of the map, a good tank overall. And try to sit next to the church. And your team gonna sit in the bushes. You can also go there in the bush and sit over there. But there is quite predictable bush. And you, trust me, you're gonna get shots. And just sit. Don't do anything. Centurion want to get some shots. He's doing some round the bell thing. I don't know what is that. You shoot one and... I don't know. Many people just shoot him. Everyone bounce apparently. And he's still with full HP. Let's do blind shot. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we, we got the map control. No, they have map control. Yes. But we have a passive players, which is good. What is going to happen? We're going to try to support our team by giving a vision and by holding this position. If they want to take me down from this position, boom, Centurion is out because I don't know what the hell he was doing, but I like him. If we hold this position, enemy have to play out, outplay us. Two and a half thousand hit points. That's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of patience to outplay 2.5k. Trust me. Was the 55? Um, let's see how fast he can melt. He's going to melt. He's melting. We're gonna try to help him to melt as well. Take one for the team. No worries. But uh, was the 55 taking 600 almost from us? And he's keep going. He's keep losing hit points. He lost more than half of hit points just for unnecessary push. What he could do instead of that, he could just go down over here and take this position and try to do something. But uh, more likely, he can get also banged. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, what? We get spotted and we predict that there is someone in that bush. 110 took one for the team. 110 took one for the team and we blind him while setting him on fart uh, on fart as well. On fire as well. <laughs> on fart. Setting enemy on fart. That's awesome. Anyway, Leopard doing pressure. Emil is sitting over there. Right. What are we thinking to do? We're gonna try to be a building. Apparently, we're gonna try to put us in that tiny hole. And we are successful. We're putting ourselves in tiny hole. And Leopard doing Piripiri in meanwhile and boom. 
He's feeding us with 600. That's awesome. Beautiful. And we are church. Nice. You can see that we had fun and we're spotting 279 and Vaza 55. Smacking one for the team for Vaza 55 and he's out from the game. And we're managing to bounce every single shot. Object 279 doesn't shoot goal. I already respect him. But in meanwhile, he could do actually some pressure in this kind of game. 5 to 1, guys. 5 to 1. Enemy have way better tanks. Way better tanks. Trust me. Only because we stop doing what we're supposed to do, we're winning the game. As you can see, guys, it's not all about the right position. I mean... The fact that you have to go there. It's not about, not, not all about that. It's not about that. Sometimes you can change everything and try to do something else. You just try to snap him. Whatever. I just want to show off, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you, can, you don't have to do what you've been forced to do. You don't have to go up to the hill because you're heavy. Yeah. You don't have to camp in the back if you tank destroyer. You can take a dodgy positions like I did and provide spotting damage. And as you can see, your team doesn't do any pressure, which is perfect. What does that mean? Everything goes well. Even your team like AMX50, which is heavy, and IS3 slash 2 would go on a hill. I would not go. I would not go. It's pointless. I would be outplayed really well. ML2, 279, Vaza 55. I would receive gold in my face easy as hell. I don't know. Do you know? Do, do you? Do you? I don't know. Perfect timing to have high explosions and, and GSOR to one for the team, which is 800 hit points. And yeah. Good angle. Scorpion G, two key. Not penetratable. 5.5 thousand blocking already. 2.6 thousand damage. 1.3 spotting damage. We did around two or three blind shots as well. Keep that in mind. Lo doing really nice pressure, which is... I don't think so. It's a smart play. You know why? Because Type 5 sitting next to the church. Type 5 sitting next to the church. It's... Uh, that's it. He's stuck over there. If he wants to run away now, run the back, more likely he can go in the deep with GSOR, or he need to go back over there. He's stuck. He did mistake. Trying to shoot high explosion, no, that was a standard to T10, but yeah, we bounce. And Leo trying to do more pressure, which is good. I don't know is it tactic or not tactic, but I would never do that. If I would see a situation like that, I would just wait till finally my team would start to do pressure. If I would be Leo, I would not do pressure. I know it's also in our brains that we have to do pressure. I know, but it's not necessary, guys. It's, it's, it's just not necessary. Now we shoot and lower part decide to do garage. That's that's literally garage. That's it. He tried. Now he probably be more likely blaming his 279 and ML and why are you not doing pressure? More likely. But anyway, still talking about what we're supposed to have, we bouncing with our butt. Gold round, which is awesome. Anyway, uh, 9 to 2. Is that balance? Yes. We're supposed to have 2 to 9. 10 to 2. Okay, we're supposed to have 2 to 10. We're supposed to lose this game. More likely, 2 to 10. But only because of the decision where everyone agree, do not push, we're winning this game easily. Why? Because we hold the flank where we're supposed to lose. And uh, we win the flank where we're supposed to just snipe, probably more likely. By five people shooting without gold, snapping this one out from the game. By five people shooting without gold, or even with gold, if you angle perfectly, can work obviously not often, trust me, not often. 
And 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 we got ten thousand almost blocked. Burashka sitting in the middle of open. On a move, with R. Spotting damage. Perfect. This is perfect gameplay. This is perfect example, guys. That you don't have to do what you think you're supposed to do. If you're heavy, it doesn't mean you have to be heavy. Another snap. It doesn't matter even six damage, but we snap him. We snap over the two tanks while driving to the position. It doesn't matter, guys. You're taking the position. Enemy, that's it. 279 cannot do nothing. He cannot push. If he push, he die. Emil push, he died. Uh, was a 55 push, he died. This is... This is... Uh, Malinov. And that's how it goes. Be taking two or three shots from Emil. We don't care. We still have almost 1,000 hit points. And, and, and... Voila. Gameplay. Rahuma saying, well done. Waffle Trigger is quiet. Not saying anything. Because he was saying that we're going to lose this game. But now he's not saying anything anymore. Ah, beautiful. I just tried to snap him. Uh, well, you know, it's 279. His angle is perfect. I cannot pen him. Even with gold, I would not be able to pen him because of his angle. Like, he's a bow and his angle like that. Well played. 15, 2, 3. That's how you can change entire game. That's how you guys can change entire game. Keep that an eye. 3.6 thousand damage, 4 thousand spotting. Let's go to check. And here you go. We got 5,000 damage, 5.1 thousand damage. So that means we did Centurion 2 blind shots plus 110 blind shots, which is awesome. And we got 4.1 thousand spotting damage and over 10,000 blocked, which means if we would compare and combine everything with blocking damage, we have 19,000 plus combined in this game. 19 plus thousand in the game where we're supposed to lose. We got 1.3 thousand base experience, 5,000 plus, and so on. We got a spotter medal, steel wall, high caliber, Spartan, if I'm not mistaken. 10.3 blocking, 5.1 damage, and 4.1 spotting. 60,000 profit while playing without gold. And you can say whatever you want, but keep that in mind. Tactic and gameplay with your team. That can be the key in the victory, even the matchmaking is not balanced. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.